Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So after today, we're only going to have five episodes left of Stranger Things, which really sucks, but we are on season four, episode three. What's the episode called? The Monster and the Superhero. The Monster and the Superhero. Uh, guys, I'm ready to go. So many people in our comments have said that the end of this season is going to be genuinely epic, like up there with like Lord of the Rings and stuff. So I'm excited to see it. I have no idea what we're in store for. This show has been an absolute trip. And on Patreon, they also told us that episode four is amongst some of their absolute favorite in the entire series. Episode four? Yes. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Ruth, Nevada. I always think people made it when they hang their pots up above their islands like that. Drones. I would have just waited for it to land before I went outside. Yeah, now you have that awkward, who's the enemy? Sullivan. New character. There were no signs of any attacker. It's as if her attacker was a ghost. Why are you here? I like your opinion. I was fired, in case you forgot. There had to be consequences. Certainly you understand that. Something is going on in that town. Nobody fully comprehends. Because as men of science who created this problem in the first place, everything that has happened in Hawkins can be traced back to Brenner's little pet. Wouldn't you agree? Not little pet. You're talking crazy about our girl. I know our girl does some crazy stuff sometimes, but when she looked at that hop and said, this very I can thing. fight. Remote Remember that? Assassination. You online. What you're suggesting is impossible. Is it? Eleven is dead. I'm not convinced. Oh no. That's really stressful now. I'm surprised that they thought that she was dead though. I want to know everything he's done and everyone he's spoken to in the past year. And if we're lucky, he'll lead us right to the girl. Like I understand why they thought she was dead, but. So he basically pointed him to Hopper, who's dead in their minds. Can you tell me your name? Angela. Angela. Do you know where you are, Angela? Ringomania. I forgot about that. We're in trouble. That's your favorite character. At least she didn't leave the scene. She could have done that. Well, she's mad. I don't blame her. I know this may be like shedding and shit. I mean, it was just like rubber wheels. Plastic. <laughs> just a soft kind. The damage was already done. But you ever wonder why the wheels aren't wood, man? That nose would have been sliced <laughs> clean off. Ah! Why is he driving? Oh, uh, no. I mean, the grand scheme of things. A little blip. Blip, 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 blip. What the heck? Mom? That's well, a lot of kids well. coming into one. Aren't you out of sight for sore eyes? You kids like risotto? Yeah. Didn't the buyers move here? Small That's crazy. world, isn't it? <laughs> so sweet of you. Sweeter of you to let me stay. <laughs> Be tempted, Joyce, except, you know, you have that, uh... Right, that business trip. What business trip? This thing came Can up. Can you pass me the olive oil? It's wine. <laughs> to a conference in Alaska. Crazy, right? <laughs> What's oh. going on? Drew Alaska? That was me What's when I was talking to my mom and sister about, <laughs> about her husband. The botanicus? <laughs> <laughs> this girl got smacked in the head today at the roller rink. Smacked. <laughs> anyway, she she looked like she's gonna be fine. She's totally. She didn't look fine. Why are you defending her? Al, aren't you gonna finish your what? Is it the risotto? Everyone hates the risotto. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. No, it's incredible. <laughs> it's risotto. It's smacking. What's with that word? <laughs> no, I have no idea who he is. <laughs> I'd be so mad at Mike for defending that girl. That girl was humiliating that girl, wasn't she? I haven't got the feedback on if people hated my opinion on her smacking that girl or not. What do you do? So I'm just holding my guns. Ah! What you I wouldn't have used escape. Use your hand, but still. The upside down is turning. Are those demi bats? You know. This is exactly what I was thinking. Well, to be honest, I was trying to make a Batman joke, but I couldn't think of one. Demi snakes. <gasps> Do not plug into that guy. <laughs> You're gross. That's what happened to Billy, right? I mean, something more kind. He got of tentacle, tentacle. Yeah, tentacle. Okay, so who's that obviously connected dude? He's just the bad guy who's killing everyone. I don't know. 
the uh the guy from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Do you think it's Eddie? Well, well, look who's decided to join. What are you guys doing? We're gearing up, preparing for the hunt. The Eddie hunt? Hey, man, relax. And we're not killers like Eddie. And we just want to talk to him, get him to admit his crime. Yeah, a little friendly neighborhood chat. Hey, you didn't know, Chris. If you're not up to this, you can go home. There's no judgment. You'll still be one of us, all right? No. I'm good. Wait, didn't I Lucas hit the game win a shot? Okay, why is it Lucas the man all right. right now? Let's capture us a free. Because Lucas is Loki in that club, and Eddie's the leader. I don't like those dudes so much that I'm kind of rooting for Eddie. What's up? Delivery service. Well, I don't really have anything against them, but I feel like they're going to get Lucas in trouble, right? You need to find Vecna, kill him, and prove your innocence. That's all. That's pretty much it. Listen, we've actually been through this kind of thing before. They have a, a few times. Mine was more human flesh-based, and theirs was more smoke-related. <laughs> Collectively, I really feel like we got this. He is a thinking cap. Y'all are good. Tarp! Tarp! This is like the Memphis three or four guys. I don't remember which one it was, but it's very similar to this. This whole thing that's going on in this episode. Oh, just the crime and how it played out? Yeah, because they, they immediately accused the rocker guy in the, in the town. I heard barking from the dog. He was just gone. See anyone lurking about? No, no, th there was nobody there. Did you look into Victor Creel? Wayne got an internet deal and I did this. Victor's locked away tight, huh? You said last you saw Fred, he was by the picnic table. At least everyone's reuniting, though. Yeah. There is a 4 p.m. showing of Police Academy 3. Maybe we just stay at home today. Oh, you guys just gonna mope around all break? The movie's supposed to suck. Police Academy 3. <laughs> Sounds great. Hey, Al, uh, I'm, I made you some Eggos, but they're getting kind of cold. Hey, that's cool. Hop's cabin, right? She has such an artsy room. Mm -hmm. So, um, are we just not going to talk about it? About what? I don't know. Just maybe like about yesterday or everything. There's nothing to say. Yeah. I guess, um, I guess I'm just a little, uh, I guess I just don't really understand. Why didn't you tell me what's going on here? I mean, you know, I'm not exactly Mr. Popularity back at home. I mean, you've seen it. I've been bullied my entire life. I mean, I, I know what it's like. No, you don't. Okay, what don't I understand? I am different. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I do not belong. You mean in Lenora? Anywhere. Come on, you, you can't actually believe that. Everyone looks at me like, like I'm a monster. Well, they just don't know you. You think I'm a monster too. What? Yesterday. No, that's not, that's, that's not true. I was surprised. Maybe I was a little upset. I'm sorry, I just, I didn't know what to do. It doesn't change anything. I care for you so much. Good job, Mike. I know he sounds like a whole adult right now. You don't love me anymore. You never say it. I say it. You can't even write it, Mike. From Mike. Oh. This is so sad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. From Mike. From Mike. At least he's writing. Okay, 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 I love him. You're being ridiculous. You're the most incredible person in the world. You can't let these mouth breathers ruin you. I mean, they're nobodies. They're nobodies. And you're a superhero. What if she's not, though? Not anymore. So she probably thinks Mike doesn't love her because she's losing her powers and she's becoming normal. Yeah, normal but being bullied. Being bullied is just normal, like humanized her so much. What is this about? Is Jane's father or mother around? Uh, no, no, I'm a brother. Um, I'm sorry, what, what is this about? A warrant? Come on, come on, that's crazy. That's hey there. Well, I knew she was gonna go to jail. I'm just saying it might be no. worth it. Mom's late left yet? Do you think I should have just told them? What, told who? The kids. <laughs> Hopper. Well, <laughs> I'm not exactly an expert in parenting, <laughs> but your children, bless their mischievous souls, <laughs> they like to get involved. Too much junk food, smoke some ganja, pound some beers, experiment sexually. I mean, really, what's the Here worst thing? Here we go. That's to old Murray. Sorry to interrupt, but you're going to need to pass in your seatbelt. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Buckle up. Like, this is really going to save me if we crash. I can't do it. I'll never fly an airplane again. I'm too stressed. I used to just knock out. You used to ride in them all the time, and then you started watching these YouTube shorts for all these plane crashes. They hit my algorithm, guys. I see them all. That was crazy. I used to literally get on an airplane and knock out. Just pass out. Like a damn sedated horse. Yeah. I'm glad I did. Are they evening the track or what are they doing? I guess they're laying it down. What's up, Hop? It's good to see ya. Looking awfully Russian these days.
Your Russian is getting better. So is your acting. Hey, I who is this friends. guy? The, the guy who's going to smuggle him Alaska. Alaska. No, but we know him. Who is he? If my pilot gets the money, then you can hit your right with him back to your country. Maybe like my cousin or something? I don't know. And you're a free man. It's not too good to be true, yes. His name is Yuri Ismailov. He's the smuggler. So he's a criminal. Who else do you want to do this job? Gandhi? You're worried about your woman. See why you like her, American. Okay, I know who it is. So yeah. And she's very pretty. Feisty, too. I like that. Game with her. Shame own. we won't meet. You promised me that she will be safe. And she will be. Let me handle Yuri. Remember, you miss that plane tomorrow. I am still rich. And you are still stuck in Kamchatka. So whatever it is you're planning, American, best get to it, yes. Where do you want it? In the chin. I love that you called him Magulus. So <laughs> I don't remember his name. It's been so long. Jack and Hagar. Are you sure that's him? Yeah, that's him. Now, whether or not he's doing the bidding of the Mind Flayer, we don't know. All we know is that this is something different. No, Fred and Chrissy don't make sense. By them. They were both at the game. And near the trailer park. We're at the trailer park. Should we maybe not be here? Fred hmm. started acting weird the second we got here. Max said Chrissy was upset too. She was crying in the bathroom at school. Uh. I saw Chrissy leaving Miss Kelly's office. Go ask Miss Kelly. You wouldn't go to the police. They never believe you. You might go to your, your shrink. Uh-oh, what has she got? She's probably gonna say that she can't discuss oh, that. Whoa. What if she's crumbled up? Yes, where are you going? Something I want to check on first. Something you maybe want to share with the rest of us? Yeah, okay, are you out of your mind? You think we need you to protect us? Yeah, we can't get Steve too close to Nancy. Right. We might need to keep Robin away from Nancy, too. Be careful! Maybe Robin's trying to keep Steve away from Nancy. He's confused as hell. <laughs> no one with Nancy. Wipe your feet. On the outside, not the inside. <laughs> yeah, so that's this monster's name, Vecna. I forgot. That was like the split that opens up. Oh damn, it's an upside down tornado. I just feel like Vecna's such a girl name for some reason. That is a girl. This is a girl? Yeah. How do you know? All that attitude. <laughs> is it badass? I said leave me alone. You had forced me to go to that awful place. I slipped. In an accident. He's cerebroing. Pretty. Uh oh. Patrick knows. Oh no. What do we have here? They're shredding, bro. Hey, a little early, fellas. Show's not till next week. We're looking for Eddie Munson. He's in this band. So what are you doing with these douchebags? You know these freaks, Sinclair? They try to recruit me to their club cult. Lucas, what? Man, you selling out, Lucas. Hmm. Where is I don't know! Ah, not the drum set. Why is that kid so reckless for? Because his girlfriend just died. Destin Anderson! Lucas. And that's when you struck her. I'm gonna need you to give me a verbal response. Yes, that, that is when I hit her. Say you want a lawyer. Why did you hit her? I don't know. You don't know. You don't know? You know the girl you hit? She got a grade two concussion. Did you know that? No. She doesn't seem that upset about it, does she? That's not a did crime, you want to kill her? I don't have to be upset. Oh. She just booked me. I don't know. She didn't know if you wanted to kill her. Or else. She just doesn't get it in this situation right now. No. No, you didn't want to kill her. No, you don't know. I don't know. Turn to the right. They're making it seem like the cops would actually take it that serious. They Kane wouldn't. Hopper. Not with a kid, you, you don't think? See her now. It, Hell it no, looks you didn't like see the body footage processed. of that freak okay. who just shot the so, high school uh, up? The cop walked over there, he's like, hi, hey, uh, I hate to bother you, but uh, which point she'll did be you threaten to shoot up a high school? I'm so sorry to bother you. Jail. You're going to put her in jail. A detention hall for juveniles. That's jail. Hey, hey, look. I mean, they need to be nice to her. You want to see Jane? Find your mother. Thank you. Oh. And she's in Alaska. Perfect timing. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Elle went in there and incriminated herself, didn't she? She didn't know, you know? Poor thing. She's just behind on social cues a little bit. Mm -hmm. Longer, just a few more hours, almost there. You and your husband have exciting plans. Uh, husband, seeing an old friend. How fun! <laughs> have you ever seen a happy Russian? <laughs> they're mad all the time. They're screaming. You think they're gonna be friends? If you don't yell at them. <laughs> Dang, he learned some Russian. 
I'd be like, well, I'm keeping the bread then. <laughs> I need something. Jack does lunch. I hope that guy doesn't get fed to the thing if he's gonna help him. Here we go. Oh, did it break? Let's go. Eddie's uncle, Wayne, thinks that Victor Creel, he's the one running around Hawkins committing all these murders. Pretty much. Coming! We get the keys to the basement archives. Give me one sec. I'm starting to realize Steve sort of has a type, don't he? Curly haired little girls. <laughs> I don't really have a filter or a strong grasp of social cues. <laughs> I know that it's a flaw. My mother reminds me daily. Got it. Oh, you think her mom's Uma Thurman in your head? Have fun. Yep. Well, well, I mean, I know it is in real life, but in the show. <laughs> she's just at home like. <laughs> She's like just being like an 80s lady. <laughs> with her Hanzo. Yeah. With her Hans. Max. What's it called? Hi. Mori Hanzo. Up with the Hanzo, yeah. Do you have a minute to talk? Yeah. Of course. I feel like that lady's me in the 80s. You've experienced trauma. And when you keep your feelings. So now when it rains, it storms. Do you think you're ready to talk more about that night? I live next door to where it happened. I'm sorry? Cops asked me a bunch of questions. Did they talk to you? I mean, I know you were seeing Chrissy. Did Chrissy mention anything? Anything about... You might have done this. I really can't discuss this. You wouldn't want me talking to any other students about you, right? If I were dead, yeah, I most definitely would. Well, let's leave that up to the police, shall we? Yeah, you're right. The police totally have this under control. Cough, cough. Can I use the bathroom? Up the stairs to the left. Man, I love split level houses. That's cool. Max, you gonna bust up in this girl's office? Oh, she just took the keys? Just drive. Nothing. Steve, drive. Okay. She got Steve called up. Man, no one's home. So now what? We keep looking. The town's not that big. Only so many places these freaks can burrow. I was about to say, why don't you call him his friend? No, I was talking about that one that had his nose bleeding. But he was with them. I thought, you know. Dustin. Lucas, where the hell have you been? Lucas, you're so behind. It's ridiculous, OK? Just meet us at the school. We'll explain later. Yeah, you got to ditch the nerds, Lucas. I think some real bad shit's about to go down. What are you talking about? What bad shit? Oh, that's why he's hanging out. Lucas? Lucas. What the hell were you doing? I was I was looking for clues. Clues? What, freshman think he's Sherlock Holmes or something? Pipe down, Patrick. Yo, let's go. I found one. What? A clue. Don't tell him. <gasps> no, don't say the boathouse, I know please. where Eddie's hiding. Lucas, throw him off the track. They got my boy brainwashed you over here. You threw fireworks at the Demogorgon. We, we didn't never forget that. I'll be honest, guys. I don't. Can I just address it super quick? I don't really know why they're choosing to make Lucas do this because Lucas just never seemed like that type of person. He's been a leader throughout this whole thing to me. Well, maybe because like he got on the basketball team. He's just trying to move on, man. Well, you know, at some point kids want to move on. Yeah, and, they're right. But they're you doing know what I think? Right you now. know what I'm seeing? Like he's like, I found clues. You know what? Dustin and Mike would be like, hell yeah, clues. Those guys are like clues. What? The yeah, but at least Mike and them are good kids. These guys right here seem like they got some bad intentions. Well, the, the guy's girlfriend just died. Give him a little break, you know? If I died, I hope you would come revenge my death. Avenge it. Yeah, but I'm not going to beat up a bunch of nerds in a garage playing guitars. This reminds me of Daredevil and Kingpin, remember? Hell no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, dude. Are you transporting a Jane Hopper? Yeah, what is this? I'll take her off your hands. Mm -mm. If they shoot the cop. Go, L. Go, L. Run for the hills. No! Oh, Dr. L. Hey, kiddo. No. He's going to be nice, sir. He just gave up her location. Well, not really. Welcome to Alaska. Oh, God. This is spring? Welcome to Alaska. <laughs> oh. He needs a hat. What's that Panama place in Prison Break called? Sauna. That's what it seems like, but old. <laughs> it's literally the exact opposite of that place. <laughs> no, I'm talking about because it's like crazy. It's literally called sauna. <laughs> That's a freezer. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to see this. Ooh, that thing's jacked up. Oh, oh, he's trying to slip out. It might get swollen, right? Ooh. Ah! 
I have PTSD. My ankle. Oh, man. Ah! <laughs> mm. A bad day for Kinkles. Victor seemed like a normal guy. Dead family, missing eyes, took a plea deal, sent a pen nurse, blah, 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 blah. Remember the Dewey Decimal System? How could I forget? What are we looking for exactly? Nance? <laughs> I don't know. It's starting to seem like this was just a big waste of time. And you're obviously bored. Why don't you just call Steve? I'm sure he'll come pick you up. And I mean, I'm not really in danger here, so. Are we jealous? What about Jonathan? Steve and I are just friends. Platonic with a capital P. Except Steve, Loki used to like you. Victor Creel claims vengeful demon killed family. Haha, ha, very funny. I'm not kidding. Get over here. Jackpot. Victor believed his house was haunted by an ancient demon. Pretty novel for the 50s. Exorcist wasn't even out yet. <laughs> Victor believed he was spared as a punishment. Convenient for Victor. Yeah, or super inconvenient. It was Vecna. That's crazy as hell. That's a cool ghost story, isn't it? So Nancy is that a cool ghost story? story? I think so. Cool enough to make a show about. No, nope, gotta go. Wait, what are you doing? Breaking and entering into school to retrieve some confidential and extremely personal files. We leave them alone for two hours. Nancy and Robin couldn't be more different. I know. Hawkins Gate. Wait a second. Didn't those guys get caught? Holy shit. He's at Hawkins Gate. Yeah, and not just Chrissy's file. Fred was seeing Miss Kelly too. Uh oh. Miss Kelly is the person, maybe. Right. They said they're dealing with a cold-blooded killer over here. I really hope he's not there. I know, knowing what we know about Eddie, he's about to get flanked from both sides. What the heck? Hopefully he's out chasing a rabbit somewhere or something. I, I didn't mean to scare you. But, uh, you. You got yourself into quite a little predicament, didn't you? Far from Hawkins, nothing could happen here. Am I in trouble? For the roller skate thing? We'll make that go away. Don't even worry about that. That's not why you're here. I wish it was. Oh. Is he wired? I don't know how to say this other than just to say it. Hawkins is in danger. So that's the dang guidance counselor. You've won. This evil, it's like a virus. Each time it returns, it comes back stronger, deadlier. A war is coming to Hawkins. <gasps> Lucas led him to ho to Hoppers. Already was here. I'm, I'm positive. Good job, Lucas. Bound some time. Thank God he did that, because I was about to be mad at the writers. They're making Lucas a snake for what? Lucas, now I want to cry. But they alone can't win this war. Not without you. Dang, Hopper, let the ankle heal. It's not fair to ask more of you to hit this thing so hard it can't get back up. I don't have my powers. We're about to get them back, what kid. If I told you there was a way. Yeah, but the thing is, isn't he compromised, Dr. Owens? And if it does, you will never see your friends again. Oh, heck no. So are they in danger? Thanks. No. What is happening right now? This show just turned it up. Poor Max. No. It's a lot for anyone. It's okay to not be okay. Max. In life as we know it. This is why I'm here. That's so scary. I know. Mike's not gonna know what to think. Uh-oh. Hopefully she gets there right in time for Max. So that thing looked like it was going for her right now. Yeah, but d doesn't it? Doesn't she need to like get sick and stuff like Chrissy was, or see the stuff? See what you're saying? That thing's just now starting to mess with her, huh? So that thing's targeting Max. Crazy episode, man. Uh, the last 10, 15 minutes of that episode went absolutely crazy. That was peak Stranger Things. Vecna's after Max. That's not and good. Vecna is the guidance counselor, right? Or maybe guidance counselor's being controlled, or maybe guidance counselor's either like a Billy or guidance counselor is also getting attacked. I yeah, that's know. what I'm, that's sort of what I'm thinking. Basically, man, Vecna's after Max. Yes. And you're very convinced that the guidance counselor has something to do with it. Well, I feel like because, yeah, the guidance counselor was treating Fred, the guidance counselor's treating Max, and the guidance counselor was treating Chrissy. And 
when when um, Max was looking at the symptoms, they're all the ones Max has. But every person had trauma, headaches, and all that. So either the guidance counselor also has it, or she's like a Billy type, maybe. Maybe we're just gonna have to see more with that. I I get what you're saying, but I'm not really seeing the correlation. But maybe it's just because she's the guidance counselor. No, I think it's because she treated all three of them. And I'm so you think that she's working with that guy? I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see. They didn't mention her in the war. No. Or, But yeah, I mean, she's probably compromised. Uh, L is basically, in my mind, kidnapped. Well, the I thing, mean, he's going to help her. The thing is, but... Dr. Owens seemed like he was put in a jam, right? It seemed like he, yeah, remember, they're about to dig through his stuff. So it seems like maybe he's going to help. But like, then she's like, it's like she's going to help or whatever. And then they're just going to like take her back. I don't trust any of them. You can't just like give her more powers and let her loose, right? Like legally, because they legally have her now. Right. Yeah. And then he said, if you fail, you'll never see your friends again. So if you fail, meaning we're going to do what? Sedate you? Put you under? Right. That was very ominous. I feel bad for Elle. That poor yeah. little girl has just been displaced so much. She just can't really seem to find a place that she can just grow some roots at. Yeah. Um. The kids are going to freak out when they realize that Elle is gone. I feel like Mike is going to feel a lot of responsibility for that because he allowed Elle to have this narrative in her mind that he didn't love her anymore so if mike really thought hard about it well we've lost hopper she moved i don't love her anymore she just had a, a psychological breakdown at the skating ring she's been lying i wouldn't know what to think it's really yeah. hard just poor situation that sucks like all of it especially right. for l like you know it just sucks for her because she's quote unquote a weapon and she's trying to live the world she even is convincing herself she's the monster it's it's sad. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? She has a questionable past, boys, for sure. But, you know, <laughs> at the same time, it ain't really her fault. I mean, she took out her, <clears throat> you know, brothers and yeah, sisters. Yeah, she's a victim of that, for sure, 100%. Yeah. She didn't mean to do any of that. Yeah. But I thought it was really sad the way she questioned herself and wondered if she was good. She was just a kid at the time, so you're good. You've just been dealt a really hard hand. I think the craziest part of this episode to me, though, 100% is the fact, well, no, I mean, obviously, it's the fact that uh, the Vecna is on Max now. That's the craziest part, but... I think one of the coolest parts I should say is um, Nancy hanging out with Robin is really funny yeah. to me because it really highlights the stark differences between the two. And it just goes to show that like Steve is a guy who's just down for anything. Like If you show <laughs> Steve attention, that's what he's into. And I think there's a lot of jealousy going on and there's a lot of insecurities in Nancy's head because I think she's thinking like this girl's so eccentric. She's the complete opposite of me. Yeah, minus like, the haircut. What does he see in her? Yeah. You know, and I think maybe yeah. she's starting to question herself a little bit because her and Jonathan are growing apart. You know, he's doing his hippie thing and she's trying to well, like, like Jonathan's just woman. too scared to be honest about that he didn't get into the college. So, so he's smoking he's, the paint away. He's just like, he's on an. I don't know. Maybe they need to recon. They need to see each other, like, because hopefully they know. He's like green turns to black. <laughs> green turns to <laughs> if you guys know, you know. Um, it's, <laughs> it's a cringy song. Uh, <laughs> Revolution. Guys, we don't know what the hell we're talking about. Like I said, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. I've been feeling a little <laughs> off. Crazy situation happened for us personally this morning. Uh, mom popped up. We got interrupted <laughs> twice during that. And I got to go get my but toddler. But we still like managed to have a so. great time watching it. So. so this show really just sort of took all my problems and made them go away for at least an hour. I appreciate you guys. And let's get into the next episode. Something else crazy happened in the beginning of this. Oh, we didn't talk about Lucas, which is the best oh, part of yes, the show. yes. Lucas is the best part right now. Right. Because he led, um, I don't know that guy's name, but he led the jocks. I'm going to just call him the jocks. Yeah. He led the jocks to, you know, Hopper's house mm -hmm. when I was almost determined that Lucas was like, because, you know, they framed, they tried yeah, to he trick gave us, him false they tried to trick us in the show because they said they did it after an insult. They're like, he's not going to help us. He doesn't know any clues. So yeah. he says, screw y'all. I'm going to help my friends. Yeah. Which is good to see. I don't know why he's trying to hang out with them nerds. No, anyways. now he's going to hang out with them to find out where they are, which is perfectly fine. Man, I feel like if I hit the game winning shot, y'all ain't telling me nothing. <laughs> when I'm walking around. What you got to say? Oh, wait, did you make the game winning shot or did I? Oh, me? <laughs> <laughs> State championship me chapter four dear billy dear billy disturbing images fear gore language and hopper i'm sorry what exactly is going on in hawkins that's what we're trying to ascertain this is insane this is insane I'm like Mike. <laughs> there are factions within our government who are in fact searching for her as we speak oh so this is a good faction i don't know it will jeopardize 11 and if 11 is jeopardized so are your friends for you oh, jonathan's please. like i don't know i'm gonna have to smoke on it <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have to figure it out what's their friend's name argyle <laughs> yeah oh i thought that was about to be some cash she wrote from l she wrote from she trolled him back I know. Do y'all see how dramatic females can be? She ran off. It was here. With a whole agency. Right That's here. been on her. She's acting like a girl. We love it. She's not a weapon. A grandfather clock. It was so real. And 
When I got closer, suddenly I just, I woke up. It was like she was in a trance or something. Exactly what Eddie said happened to Chrissy. That's not even the bad part. Fred and Chrissy, they both came to Miss Kelly for help. Uh, they both were having headaches, bad headaches that just wouldn't go away. And then, then the nightmares, trouble sleeping. They'd wake up in a cold sweat. Back in his curse. Chrissy's headaches started a week ago. Fred, six days ago. I've been having them for five days. They both died less than 24 hours after their first vision. 24 hours? And I just saw that goddamn clock, so. Oh my God. Looks like I'm gonna die tomorrow. Stay here. Man, I hate to blame the guidance counselor because she looks so nice. You saw that poodle on her desk. Maybe she's not, but that's just what I have. You know she's nice. She quoted a bunch of self-affirming quotes. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's me! <Luca? laughs> I could have taken you out with this way! <laughs> I was spiky for eight miles. <laughs> We've got a cold red. What? I've been with Jason, Patrick, and Andy. They're trying to capture Eddie, and they think you know where he is. All right. Yeah, that, that definitely sucks. <laughs> oh, my God. Dustin was basically like, whatever to that, I'm more worried about Max. To be honest, man, the way Vecna takes you out is way too brutal for Max. She cannot go out like that. That would suck to see. Oh my God, I can't. Like, it, you know, those characters, I don't really know. Okay, whatever. Like, I'm sad about them. Yeah, I'm sad they got taken out, but I don't know them, you know? I know Max. I think what she's trying to say is it hurts <laughs> a little more when there's a personal relationship. That is what I'm trying to say. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning up a little bit. Jeez. You're like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> 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 no, I definitely give an S. But... Hell, if they die, they die. <laughs> Dear Billy. Dear Billy. Honey, would you get the door? <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey there, is Lucas home? Negative. Tell his ass off. Do you know yeah. where he is? <laughs> like her jacket. We were supposed to go out. Go and... out? I see he's taking a step down for Max. <laughs> you know Dustin Henderson? I've bled with him. She... Where the hell's Sinclair? We've been tricked, boys. It's funny how she puts him in his place. And he just keeps it moving. And yeah, he just walked away. He just like, whatever. I just got involved in this family drama. As far as we know, Eleven didn't create the Upside Down. She opened it, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Upside Down has probably been around for thousands of years. I wouldn't be surprised if it predated the dinosaurs. How did Vecna get through? Oh, and how's he getting through now? Just pops out in the 50s, kills one family, and is like, eh, I'm good. Only to return 30 years later and start killing some random teens? No, I don't buy it. Well, they just called Vecna a boy this time, so now I'm like... Oh, I was messing with you about that. That was just a whole joke. Why are you tricking me? Now, that's why I thought it was the guidance answer. I thought it was a girl. Any idea what she's writing? Really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was wondering why you've been so on about that. Did she sleep? What do you? Mm -mm. We have a plan. We are now rock star psychology students at the University of Notre Dame. <laughs> I'm now Ruth. Ruth. <laughs> and then maybe we can rid Max of this curse. Please. Where's mine? Nancy, you're out of your mind if you think I'm babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> Max is in real danger. She needs people around her. I know. But God, you have a Tom Cruise poster. There's a little Mallory in here. <laughs> For what is essentially a ransom exchange. I think you very much need to be on time. <laughs> Kinda right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very tense. Through the forest, you will see a church with a gray roof. Oh, he's gonna get Argyle to come. If you keep staring at that, it's not gonna change. You know? Yeah. Well, dang, you didn't have to throw it I away. Know, I was like, <laughs> put it on pocket. the table. Yeah. You have a big front pocket. Before the cops came, me and L. We, we had a put fight. it in the pantry. Throw we never fight. You're going to see her again. And whatever it is, whatever you didn't say, you can say it to her then. She's going to be okay. She's not in Hawkins. That's what we should be worrying about. You don't trust Owens? No. I don't know. I mean, he's been good to us and good to Al, but he wasn't able to protect me. That was you guys who saved me. That was you guys. Oh, yes. The synth music. Go to Hawkins. How? What are you worried about? Ponch and John out there? They're half asleep right now watching golf. No, Jonathan. I mean, we don't have a car or money. Then we'll hail ourselves a ride. A cheap one. Oh, wow. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. <sighs> what? We're hungry. I could eat. Don't trust them. Man, they ain't getting enough for you. Is she getting her affairs in order? Oh, man. This is the title, Dear Billy. So that's apparently the title in that envelope. Huh? You said you needed something? Just hanging out. <laughs> you can look at me now. Thank you. Sorry. 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 <laughs> for you? 
for you. Yep. Oh, gosh. Give these to Mike. Oh, uh, well, don't open it now. Don't. Okay. Please don't read the letter after she dies by this dude or something. I know. Things are going to work out. No, no. I don't need you to reassure me right now. People have been telling me that my entire life, and it's almost never true. I mean, of course, this asshole curses me. Should have seen that one coming. If we go to East Hawkins, will this storage Penhurst? Oh, no. She's being brave for her last day, though. I'll give her that. She's on the offensive right now. Right, it's making me hopeful, for real. It's gotta be Robin, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not all about comfort, okay? We're academics. We're evidently coming straight from an Easter brunch. It's inevitable because shortly I'll be dead from strangulation. <laughs> 3.9 GPAs. Impressive. A recommendation from Professor Britley. Well, you know what uh -oh. they say. Those who can't do, teach. <laughs> yes, that's actually why we're here. And I'm sympathetic to your struggle. But there is a protocol <laughs> to visiting a patient like Victor. You have to put in a request. At which point, the board will make a decision. I can say you're disappointed. Robin's gonna do it. I know it. 1978, I was at summer camp. Little Petey McHugh. You know Petey, right, Ruth? Uh, of course. Little Petey McHugh started sobbing. Full on hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to be you. So 10 minutes with Victor. That's all I ask. That work? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Aw. I love that. I like that they're becoming friends. I like that Robin's, uh, what do you even call that? Eccentricness? She's eccentric it as works. hell, ain't she? Yeah. <laughs> well, she did what you're supposed to do. You just gotta give it your best shot at that point. Don't be shy. Go for it. If things go sideways, I should mention I'm now a black belt in karate. <laughs> Hello? Hello! I hope we get to see that. <laughs> Who are you? We're looking for Yuri. Why do you need to see Yuri? It's uh, a private matter. Is Yuri here? You're day late. What? Yuri was on sightseeing trip to see polar bears. And then bears got into plane <laughs> and pulled him out of cockpit and killed Yuri. Please be Yuri. I hope that's Yuri. And he loved bears. They broke his heart. Puncture it. Oh! That's definitely Yuri. Yeah. I, I got you. <laughs> I'm Yuri. Oh. But the story of the better was true. <laughs> Murray. Murray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's too much. <laughs> As promised, I love the smell of gash in morning. <laughs> Joy's wing back. <laughs> <laughs> he's too much. I don't know if he's serious or not. Please have some coffee. Still hot. Did you see a five? Forty thousand. That is gonna take a long time. Oh no. Oh, there was fives in there. It's about to smell like some stripper ass right there. <laughs> what if he walks up? He's like, "Bala magulas." Bala jaharis. Presa, presa. Ah. about it. Sorry, dude. That guard's dumb as hell. I'd have just made him get it with a gun on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-oh. Ah! He doesn't watch action movies, does he? Oh. I bet Hopper absolutely cannot stand the Russians at this point. Right. <laughs> he can jump by them 24 7. Uh oh. Mm. It's going down in the shed. <laughs> Hopper's doing all this with a bum ankle. <laughs> a Tyrion Lannister or him. <laughs> the 50 oh, to 1. Oh, how you do that with that ankle? The 50 to 1 chance. What the heck? Yes! Oh my gosh, he doesn't even have shoes on. <laughs> this plan, though, what a dicey plan. <laughs> Crazy American, that's what he's gonna say. 100 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> he so doubled the odds, huh? <laughs> or he shrunk the odds, I should say. Oh, those things right there are so cool. Where you like almost can hit the ground. Fast, mm -hmm. 20 seconds. People fall over the top of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that thing's got batteries in it, right? I'm not even answering that question. Yes, it has batteries. Yeah, I got it. Remember, he keeps batteries. He keeps batteries on them. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? 
Oh. Are we about to get the mom, mom. talk? Oh, hey, sweetie. Lord. I thought you were with your friends today. Yeah, I, I was. I, I am. Shouldn't you be at work? Oh, Mr. Bradley let me off early, so just catching up on some chores. Um, I, I left some letters inside for you and, and Granny and Uncle Jack and Dad, if you can find them. Letters? I, I don't understand. I... Uh, I just, um, with all the murders and everything, I know it's stupid, but I just started to think, what if something happens to me? Max, baby, nothing is going to happen to you. I know, but if, if it did, I just, there, there's so many things that I want to say, that I need to say. Something going on, Maxine? Is it, baby? You're right, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll be fine I'm being silly. Max, so oh, sweetie. Nothing you don't deserve. Oh, shoot. Mom, let go of me. Maxine, you think some letters are going to make things right? You've broken everything. I remember Billy hinting at that. Let go! So her mom was never even there? Oh it was my the curse gosh, that was creepy. Hey, that was longer than 20 seconds. Hey, you don't say. Are you all right? I'm fine, just drive. Did something mm -hmm. happen? Hey, please just go. Do you think it might be possible for us to speak to Victor alone? Then we could really rub it in Professor Bradley's face when we get back to- I don't believe I know Professor Bradley. She meant to say Bradley. Are you silly me? Words, letters. <laughs> Just hush, Pam. Yes, you've caught me in a rebellious mood. <laughs> and there's something rather urgent I need to check on anyway, so sure. Keep a close eye on them. Super creepy, so right? Thank you, Dr. Hatch. Sus. Do not startle him. Do not what touch him. Thing? Victor! Today's your lucky day! You got visitors. Must be in one of his moods. Victor? That guy's trying to get sued, ain't he? My name is Nancy. We have some questions. I don't talk to reporters. Hatch knows that. We're not reporters. We're here because we believe you. And because we need your help. Whatever killed your family, we think it's back. Oh no. I got him. Listen, the truth is the last year has been weird, you know? And I mean, you know, Max and Lucas and Dustin, they're, they're great. They're great, it's just, it's Hawkins. It's not the same without you. And I feel like maybe I was worrying too much about Elle, and I don't know, maybe I feel like I lost you or something. Does that make sense? I have no idea what's gonna happen next, but whatever it is, I think we should work together. I think it'll be easier for, we're a team, friends, best friends. Cool. Oh, cool. Will just wanted someone to care about him. That was fast. 30 minutes or less. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I'm coming. Hello there. What the hell was that? Stay here! No, Jonathan, don't stay here. We just shot him. We gotta get <gasps> Get shit! Why are they trying to kill the kids? Oh, there's no way. That's who you want right there. That guy's a beast. I know, we shouldn't main character him. Dang, the pistol's taking out the assaults. Sounds about right. <gasps> no. It's not cool. I hope he doesn't get shot up. Stop the car! God dang. What's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there real blood in Oh my God, why is that guy on the couch? Ah, that's the Dutch even. <laughs> 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 He's single-handedly counting all that. Wow. Jeez. Oh, damn. Now your turn. <laughs> Go get Hopper. But first I will call Enzo. If your friend is dead, I could save myself trouble and fuel. <laughs> I'm sure he's not dead, but still I should check. <laughs> I check too. That's risky. <laughs> Why do you like it? <laughs> Hopper really does look like Red School though. Don't he? He was like Red School? Oh, uh, yeah. Kinda. It's hard to say because he's already a Marvel character. So I only see him as his Marvel character. <sighs> That's so much better than that prison. Oh, let's go. Some peanut butter. You know, when you watch the show Survivor and people are out on that island for like 30 days, for some reason, the first thing they all want is peanut butter when they can eat. It's they all like ask for peanut butter. It's a sustainable, quick thing to get. Yeah. 
Why is that poster in a church? Or is that a church? How are they all gonna get us? No. To be honest, it felt so easy, didn't it? I mean, except, you know, the fact that he Prescienza. escaped against all odds, but. Mm -hmm. Yuri's gotta go. I kind of figured that guy was terrible because he's so eccentric. Yeah. I'm sorry, poor bird. You will be reunited with your American boyfriend very soon. Very soon. Oh. Turn here. Here? Max? Lucas, please just wait in the car. Max, just wait, just wait. Lucas, Max, just please, wait. Just in the car. listen to me. Just please. I know something happened back there with your mother. Was it Vecna? I told you. I'm fine. Oh, no. Yeah, I know that. Okay, then why do you keep pushing me away? Okay, look, I don't need a letter. I don't want a letter. Just talk to me, to your friends. We're right here. Open up, Max. Okay, I'm here. She's gonna open up and become all emotional and vulnerable just for the first time before she dies. When he attacked, our friend described it as a trance. Like, a waking nightmare. Oh my gosh. That's why we think he's coming for her next. Does any of this, anything we've told you sound like what happened to your family? Victor, I know this is hard. You don't know anything! You're right. We don't know. That's why we're here. We need to know how you survived that night. <laughs> survived? Is that what you call this? Did I survive? It kind of looks like Freddy Krueger. It's scary. No, I assure you. What's his name, Robert England? I am still very much in hell. I mean, he's eyeless and is locked in there. That's not right. 14 years, her great uncle had died, leaving us a small fortune, enough to buy a new home, a new life. Alice said it looked like it was from a fairy tale. Alice, was this your daughter? Mm, yeah. But Henry, my boy, he was a sensitive child, and I could see he felt something was wrong. Like Will. We had one month of peace in that house, and then it began. That's, man, I'm trying to tell y'all. Look, man, I, I cannot stand to mess up the theme, but guys, that same tower right there is from that Freddy Krueger movie, the Wes Craven's New Nightmare. I saw that one. That little boy climbed to the top of it. No spoilers. Yeah, that's Robert England. That's Robert England telling the story. You know that? Yeah, I know that. I just picked that up. He climbs to the top of that. The actual guy? That's the guy who plays Freddy Krueger. So if you, I'm wrong, so pause, I'm wrong. You can recognize that guy, but you don't be recognizing nothing else. I told you, I used to watch a lot of Freddy Krueger. You Krueger's wild, how do you even know? It, it got ingrained into my subconscious. That's just Uncle Freddy. Begin to appear near our home. Rabbits, squirrels, chickens, even dogs. The police chief blamed the attacks on a wildcat. This was no wildcat. This was an evil, and evil neither animal nor human. Was a spawn of Satan. Yeah, that's like Heather right there taking a bath. My family began to have encounters, waking, living nightmares. You see all the symbolism, nightmares, demons. That's from that movie. Aww. It wasn't long before I began to have encounters of my own. I, I could sense this demon. I thought this was like season one of a AHS. It cursed. Our home is a curse to us. Oh no. It took Virginia first. Try to get the children out to save them. But I was back to France, back in the war. It was a memory. I had thought German soldiers were inside. I ordered a shelling. Thanks of you to the upside down, brother. I was raw. Oh, so he oh, saw that when he was in the war. It was taunting me. And I was sure it would take me, just as he'd taken my Virginia. <laughs> Another voice. First, I believed it was an angel, and I followed her. Oh, no. While I was away, the demon took my children. That's so sick. Like in a Henry disgusting way. into a coma shortly after that. A week later, he died. A week. I tried to join him. I tried. Oh, man. So he and I stopped stop the bleeding. He wouldn't let me join him. The Angel, you followed. Who was she? And it was about dreams. Everything you hoped he would be. 
Perhaps we should discuss in my office while we wait for the police. Dear Billy, I don't know if you can even hear this. Two years ago, I would have said that's ridiculous, impossible, but that was before I found out about alternate dimensions and monsters, so I'm just going to stop assuming that I know anything. So much has happened since you left. Your dad was a total mess. He and my mom started getting into fights, bad fights. I don't think he could stand being here without you, so he left and he didn't leave mom much. She's taken an extra job and we moved to that lovely trailer park off Curly. Basically, ever since you left, everything's been total disaster. And the worst part is, I can't tell anyone why you're gone. I can't tell them that you saved Elle's life, that you saved my life, running to you, pulling you away. I imagine that if I had, that you would still be here and everything would be, everything would be right again. I imagine that we, that we could have become friends, good friends, like, like a real brother and sister. And I know that's stupid. You hated me, I hated you. I I thought that maybe, maybe we could try again. Okay? But that's not what happened. I stood there and I watched. For a while, I tried to be happy, normal, but I, I think that maybe a part of me died that day too. And I He's haven't like told anyone for this. I, I just I can't, but I had to tell you before it's too late. If you can even hear this, I really hope that you can. I'm sorry. So, so sorry, Billy. Every time she does something like this, it's really stressing me out because I don't want this character to go. There's just no way. It's like Billy. What if he like can hear? <laughs> that sounded like him, didn't it? I mean, I think she's zoned out. You see her right, zoned out, Steve. Go help her. Steve, just give her some time. I have. I'm right, Sinclair. I'm calling it. She wants to get a lawyer if she can. Max, time to get you up, yeah. Max, Max. She was like the Undertaker. Max, Max. I've been waiting to hear those words, Max. Oh no. Obviously, it's just him <laughs> messing with her. Waiting. So very long. Wake up! Hey, hey, Max, wake up! Max! Max! But it wasn't the full truth, was it, Max? You know, I think there's a part of you buried somewhere deep that wanted me to die that day. I was maybe even relieved, happy. No, that's not true. That's why you stood there, isn't it, Max? It's okay, you can admit it now. No more lies. No. Why you hide from your friends. No. Why you hide from the world. No. You have sometimes wished to follow me. That no. is no. why I am here, Max, to end no. your suffering. Oh my god. It is time, Max. There's no way. Time for you to join me. What if she doesn't want to? He seems kind of pushy. Run, Max, run. Oh, they don't copy. Our friend is in danger. Do you really expect me to believe anything you have to say at this point? You are free to tell your sob story to the police. Move along. Don't touch me. The ballerina. Song. Victor said the night of the attack, everything went on in the house, but he made specific mention of music. He started to hum. Mm -hmm. Ella Fitzgerald, the voice of an angel. Music can reach parts of the brain that words can't. A live line back to reality. It's worth a shot. So you better start playing it for Max. They're what song is it gonna be? Oh, Not never ending story, right? The one they just said. Girl, what do you mean? I thought it was like relevant to your life. What song you would play like a voice of an angel? Oh, yeah, that's what <laughs> Yeah, my bad. That's a dude. I was just showing off your goal abilities. Oh, tell him, tell him. It's Robin, we caught you. Finally! Please tell me you guys have this figured out! <laughs> Buyers? Yeah, I was about to say, you see that? I thought I said buyers. But will buyers? Ayers? Oh, yeah, you're right about that. Why is she walking towards it? Maybe that's her trauma that she's dealing with. Sh remember how she hasn't really said what she's done? No, nah, she's crazy as hell walking in there. Her favorite song. Why? Why? What's her favorite song? Oh no. That's Victor Krill's house, right? If 
spider nest everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was Chrissy and Fred. How do you like them? What if she's like, I'm not afraid of you. Would you like, like to join them? No. That's what they do with their bodies. No way. Play it, play it, play it. It's going to be some damn Ramones. Rock and roll high school. She's listening to that. She's caught up. She can't. She can't. No. They can't help you, Max. But she saw the portal. There's a reason you hide from them. You belong here with me. You're not really here. Oh, but I am Max. I am. There's just no way. I don't want a letter. We're right here. I'm right here. She regrets it. Oh, She's listened to it for Billy at the beginning. That sucks because he can just pull you in whenever. Well, you thought she got got, didn't you, baby? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So Max almost died. That's great. But most importantly, I was right about Robert England. Okay. So I'm not a fool. That was the guy who plays Freddy Krueger. I thought it was really cool seeing Robert England uh, in Stranger Things, man, because Robert England is sort of like, he's like the- Your like childhood the, hero. Well, he's like the dad of horror in a way. Like Freddy Krueger is such an iconic character. Uh, there's a lot of Freddy Krueger movies we haven't seen, man. Unfortunately, I know there's a lot of them, and we're down to like we've channel, seen one too many. That guy right there is a legend, though, man. Robert England, guys, that was a crazy episode. Uh, what do you think, baby? Dang. I, I don't know what to think. I like when I make you talk when you're crying. Good. I don't like to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, know what to think. That was very emotional. Um, I do remember hearing that song at the beginning, but I never like looked at the lyrics until that moment. And it was clear that she was listening to that song to like grieve for Billy. So that's right. like really sad because it said, I wish we could swap our places or whatever. And I think maybe that moment will be the catalyst that gets us Max back because she's been in this funk, you know, understandably so. Yeah. And she needs to bounce out of that, man. She really needs yeah. to, like I said, she just needs to come out of that shell. So maybe she was playing with all these ideas and all this self loathing and stuff. But ultimately, man, Billy sacrificed himself for her. And not just for her, but so that way they could live and continue on. So I think maybe she realized that in that moment. And maybe this will be the moment that bounces Max back. Because yeah. We need Max to get out of this funk. We have, yes. what, six episodes left? Something like that? Five. So we got five episodes. We can't have Max fucking the whole time. Yeah. That was close. I thought we lost a great character today. I really did. Yeah, that was that was so emotional. That guy's creepy. <laughs> that was so emotional. That was so well done. Um, Jeez. Uh, other than, like, that, the I guess... We found out that music can get you out of Vecna's curse. Well, it's kind of like, remember with Lost, uh, one of the greatest episodes in TV history, man, is in Lost. It's uh, the, the, constant. One, the constant, right, with Penny. Yeah. And uh, basically the same concept. They use the music to, like, ground themselves, to remind themselves mm -hmm. what true reality is. So amazing, amazing. They executed that so good, man. Her running for it, the drawn-out suspense. I just thought it was great. Yeah, that was amazing. Like, that... It, 
was i wouldn't even get to see like what l is up to with the power thing going mm -hmm. on like there's so much left well this <laughs> episode so to do. really focused on our bad guy right now man uh and i really like all the back story we got i'll say it again robert england's character was amazing in this man he really sold that story and so victor krill's not a bad guy he's just no he's some, not a bad guy he's a victim, he's a, he's a victim. Yeah. yeah yeah he's a victim and I guess his trauma that he quote unquote had was he saw a baby dying in the war in France. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, so, I, he probably saw a lot more than that. But right. But that was what was I guess worst, yeah. Vecna. So Vecna, Vecna gets onto people who have trauma. That's why I thought it was the guidance counselor at first, because the way, so, but the thing I think Vecna does is Vecna knows all the people who have trauma through the guidance counselor. Well, the thing about, well, I don't know because Vecna started messing with them while they were happy, the original family. I was going to say Vecna was a demon, so... The it was their about, house, because remember, he was given the small fortune. He was like, we're given the small fortune, they were given the house. Something within that house, I think. I was going to say, it seems like, since he is a demon, you know, you have to invite a demon in. Yeah. You know, they can't just force themselves into you, so... Maybe with Max being, you know, what Billy said, you've even thought about ending it yourself. Maybe that was her letting in demons like inviting demons in because she was letting herself be vulnerable to those like right. terrible demonic thoughts like that and so maybe that's why she was chosen because it was almost in a sense of hey if you want to go i'll help you yeah it was like people with trauma like i said they right. they're, they're vulnerable people so yeah so somehow i know i don't know exactly how but that guidance counselor has something to do with it and i know it because they're all three of your patients yeah, sorry I tricked you into thinking it was a girl. I just you just <laughs> well, made that comment. And well, the like, reason why is because Vecna seems like a girl I mean, name. I mean, I it's kind of feminine, you know. But I mean, he's definitely a dude. Like, he's a dude. He's yeah, a scary dude. dude. It's great seeing Lucas back with his friends. That's really awesome to see. Yeah, you're right. We didn't really get a lot of Mike. We didn't get any of that. It was just a mostly mostly. It, it was, was a Vecna like, episode. It was yeah. all about it was all about Robin and Nancy. Honestly, and and, base, and also it was about Max saying her goodbyes to everybody and stuff because she right. was genuinely feeling like this episode tricked me. I really thought she was gone because the whole time I thought she's definitely saying goodbye because the show's about to take her away. I mean, it's obvious. But how I love the twist how serious was that, though, that she survived the seven days like she like is she in the clear now? Did she break the I, curse? exactly like did she break the curse for everybody? Did she break the curse for herself? Is that what you do in those moments? It seems like to me, Vecna would be more determined than ever to get her the one yeah. that got away. Mm -mm. I don't know if I'm Max, I'm freaking out. Cause literally at any given moment, at like any that's moment, the worst. Like, uh, like now y'all have to go defeat it so you can sleep at night. <laughs> like, and then Max is finally <laughs> vulnerable for once in her life. And she like tells the truth and opens up. And then here comes Vecna to just be a total asshole about it. Yeah. And use it all against her. So she's probably going to be, like these people she's are finally be, coming full circle with themselves and you're just going to hang them up. She's going to be a mean character after that. And I'm just playing. I don't even know what to think. Max is a fighter, man. She didn't go silently into that dark night. She ripped, ripped that man's jugular. Or I something. like that song though. I like that song that I was playing. Yeah. It was, it was a good one. Um, What else happened in this episode, babe? Uh, Joyce is not if you think about where everyone is they're screwed right now everyone's screwed right um Joyce is held up Murray's held up Hopper's held up that Nancy was really heartbreaking Robin man I can't believe escaped. that dude turned on him but it's not it's it's obvious that he would but I love the concept though I thought that was pretty smart writing they'll pay a lot more for you know a hostage but how are you how are they gonna pay him when he's the one He's going to get who shot. set the whole right, thing up. Right, I know right. that the dude got caught in all the guard and so they're going to put it on him. But all he's got to do is say, hey, actually, we were working. No, together. they're shooting Yuri because they're going to know. Yeah, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that guy Yuri's right on. He's a fool himself for that. He would have made more money just working with that guy long term. I think I think he, he had a nice thing going, but he done involved. He, he pretty much gave the game away. He was working, making, doing all this illegal stuff. And then he decides one time I can cash out and make more money if I don't do that. And that's what he chose to do. So. I didn't think that was good. Yeah, but, but whatever. Hopper Harry. went through hell to escape too, man. One in a hundred <laughs> or one in a thousand. Is that what he said? He said he first he said fifty to one, then he said a hundred to one. <laughs> more than that, dude. Like more than that. Them dudes had Russians with guns coming up on you, man. You have no shot. But hey, that's Hopper, baby. That's why he's in the show and I'm not. Uh I just love this episode. I thought this was third best episode of the series. Really? Maybe. This well, yeah. is my second. This is my second. My first is um, 3x8 but well i was gonna say 3 second. 3x7 3x8 those two were so good i think what this show was missing 
this show was just missing a little bit. Maybe Elle and Erica. If Elle and Erica would have been in the show, maybe it would have competed in the top two. But this is going to be number three for me personally. The number two for me. I, I thought that. last this season was so good. The last seven and eight in the last season was just some of the best TV. It I've really ever was, seen, though. So. This episode, I'm just going to say it one more time, man, just in case that y'all didn't hear me. This episode was crazy. It really was one of the best things we've ever seen on TV. So uh, we need to watch more. Absolutely. We have five more episodes. I don't really know where the story is going to go. Obviously, we got to get rid of you know, name? Victor. Vecna. Vecna. The question, though, is when you guys watch this on, I guess, Netflix, was this the part where it was the halfway point where you guys got half the season and then you got the rest? Because if it was, that's oh, is that really, how it worked? Yeah. Oh, Lord. they did half. This they'll probably do it for five too. Then, like they'll release a couple and then let us know how long of a gap was there? Like five weeks or something? No, I think it was a few months. A few months, something like that. So they yeah. put out half a season. Something like yeah. Someone said that. So I'm wondering if this was the halfway point because this would be a good point to really leave y'all on. But they ain't about to leave us on that. We about to watch it. Stranger Things must have been scared they were going to lose their subscribers or something. For no reason, because it's so good. Due to lack of posting. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, do we miss anything? I guess. I don't know what's up with Steve and Nancy. It, it sort of looks like there's something there. I don't know. It looks like Jonathan sort of finding himself. He might be more in love with the pot plant. No, I, I don't think that's it. I think, I think. No, I, I already have a well, prediction go ahead, share for the them. Thorn. Share the theory. I think, I think Jonathan and Nancy will end up getting, like, they'll rekindle it when they see each other. That's what I think. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe so. I mean, that was easy, simple, but she, I noticed she looked at a picture of her and Jonathan and then went to, like, do, save the world or whatever, do her Nancy stuff. I don't know, man. The heart loves who the heart loves. So, we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. Like the video, all that good stuff. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs>